We're at UW Sheboygan where the Wombats are getting ready to take on UW Marinette and they're getting ready to play the national anthem. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin, and joining me for tonight's broadcast is the coach, Chris Wright. And uh, Chris, kind of a quick intro there to the national anthem. Let's go through the starting lineups real quick. Starting at a guard for Sheboygan is number 11, Josh Myers. He's six feet tall. He's in his first year from Howard's Grove. He's averaging uh, four, five assists a game. Also starting is Travis Plokar, number 21. He's a 6'4 forward. He's in his second year from Howard's Grove, averaging just over 12 points a game. Andy Wolf, number 23, will be at the other guard spot. He's a 6'2", and he's in his first year. He's out of Sheboygan Falls, averaging 14 points a game. Number 31, Luke Mills, is uh, their leader on this Wombat team. He's averaging just over 14 a game. He's 6'3", and he's out of Oostburg in his second year. And rounding out the uh, starting lineup for Sheboygan, a familiar name to uh, local basketball fans, Admir of Misovic, number 43. He's averaging 7.5 points a game. He's a 6'5 in his first year out of Sheboygan South. And we're off. Admir gets it, takes it into the hole, and scores. And it's kind of strange not watching him uh, with the opening tip there. And have Ad to jump Admir, center. Admir wearing, uh, not wearing the familiar red and white. Of course, the same could be said for Mills. Outside shot is up and good by Mike Pulfus. We'll get to the uh, starting lineup for uh, Marinette in just a minute. That's a three-pointer. Makes it three to two. Marinette on top. Marinette's uh, generally one of the stronger teams in the conference, Chris, but they come in with a one and four record. Oh, nice pass. That assist goes to Josh Myers, the easy basket to uh, Admir Misovic. Well, Marinette graduated four players from a year ago, and but they have their best player back. That's number 40. That's Greg Reisner. He's a, he averaged 15 points, six boards a game a year ago. He's out of Peshtigo. A little inside moving up and in is uh, Mike Corwin. The starting lineup for uh, Marinette is number 20, Aaron Van, Van Domlin. Number 22, Mike Pulfus. Who put that one in, Chris? Abner again. Abner's got six points. Dustin Valley, number 24, is starting, as is Corwin. Corwin, number 30, and number 40, Greg Rissner, which uh, you mentioned. Way outside. They better get up on that guy. Mike Polfus with another three. Makes it eight to six, Marinette. Well, one thing Marinette has a problem with, too, you mentioned their starting lineup. They only have seven young men on their team, so any foul trouble for a Marinette is going to cause them problems. Shot is off by Wolf. Rebound to Marinette. First miss of the day. Yeah. Get out on him. Good Mar skip pass. Yeah, nice skip pass. Easy jump shot for uh, Van Domlin is up and in. And Marinette hasn't missed a shot yet. Well, the one thing I was impressed looking at the stats, Marty, is 56% from the field goal percentage from two-point range for Sheboygan. So they're getting a lot, of, a lot of makes on basket attempts. Admir with the inside move. His shot off is off the glass. No good. Marinette with the rebound. 
and they get a semi break. Reasoner kicks it out. Shot by Van Domlin is no good. Admir get away with a push on a rebound. But then uh, Sheboygan turns it over anyway. Plokar uh, on a walk. Our officials tonight all out of Manitowoc. Uh, Jerry Halverson, you see him right there handing the ball. Rick Schwarz underneath the basket and out on the side, you can't see him right now, is uh, Rick Rodell. Long jump shot is off, no good. Understatement there. Yeah, Polfus uh, just over half court. Dick Gimme used to like, used to shoot him out there. Inside move by Myers is up and in, and he's fouled. That's the thing that could hurt Marinette is the foul situation. Foul goes on Corwin. It's 10 to 8, Marinette. Josh Myers trying to make it 10 to 9. And does. Schweigen setting up in a, uh, like a little half court trap. Yeah, little diamond. Try to pinch him in the corner. That's where you don't want to throw the ball if you're on Marinette. You want to keep the ball in the middle of the floor. Good inside pass and a shot after the fake is no good. And then a ball bounces out of bounds. Dustin Valley had the uh, wide open shot but couldn't put it down. Rishner with a good pass. Admir a little one on one again, can't get it to go. Uh, Mills off his feet. Admir steps over to help pick up, and then uh, Marinette gets the offensive rebound. Shot is blocked. And then it's going to be Plokar over the back with the foul. It all started when uh, Mills fell down on the defense. Stepping to the line is going to be Dustin Valley. He'll be shooting a pair. Busy week this week for TV8. We're out at uh, Lakeland covering the uh, women's basketball team. They have a strong start. And then on Friday, we're over at uh, Sheboygan South. They'll open the conference, Fox River Valley Conference play the game against Green Bay West. Uh, all right, a good steal made by Corwin. And then uh, instead of risking the turnover, he calls a 30-second timeout. And uh, Marinette uh, playing inspired basketball, coming yeah, in 0 and 3 in the league. Yeah, they are. Very uh, entertaining start for both teams. High field goal percentage. Well, we mentioned uh, some of the scoring. Plokar, Sheboygan has three guys in double figures with uh, Plokar, Wolf, and uh, Mills. And uh, Plokar is shooting almost 63%. Averaging 12 and a half a game, and uh, Wolf and Mills each averaging 14-3. Uh, Wolf is a little down, but even 42 percent, 41.7. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and Andy Wolf was a very good player last year at Falls when they won the conference out there. It's been a lot of years since Falls won a championship, and they uh, Andy Wolf was very inst instrumental to that team last year. Rissner has it out on top. Maybe uh, Andy just likes the color purple or something. All right, good defense played over there by Josh Myers, forcing the back cut, and uh, that sometimes can be a difficult pass to complete, as you can see there. Checking in for Sheboygan is uh, Brandon Schmall. He looks like he's bulked up a little bit from a year ago. Schmall in his second year out of Elkhart Lake. Uh, he came after your uh, stint out there, huh, Coach? Yep. Skip pass, taking it hard to the hoop, and laying it up and in is Luke Mills. Well, it's Luke's first shot. He's got to get more attempts. 72% from the floor in two-point range. 
Way outside, shot is off, no good. Mills with a strong rebound. Myers pushing it up the court. Oh, nice pass. Over to Plokar for two. Another assist by Mills. Maybe they heard that you didn't say Sheboygan was playing inspired. They were up and down the floor now quickly. Shot is up and in by Van Domlin. Pressure by uh, Wolf a little bit late. It's like a little zone here by Marinette. Sheboygan uh, taking your time, getting set up. There's 20 seconds left on the shot cut. Good pass by Mills again, pardon me, by Myers. And the shot is up and in by Luke Mills. Good way to attack the zone there. We're all tied up at 15. 14.05 remaining in the first half. Oh, interesting, they got Rissner out uh, at the point. Yeah, I would assume he's probably their best post player too. Mills playing good defense. Plokar got it up and in. First time he's been inside the three-point line for a shot. Wolf with a long three-pointer, got it up and in. Sheboygan's first three-point basket of the night. Makes it 18 to 17. Sheboygan on top. A good help defense by Myers. And then a tie up in Sheboygan is not gonna have it. The arrow points in uh, Marinette's direction. Well in for Marinette is Blaine Veldervelden. That's a uh, very Velder's name. <laughs> A little bit late on the help. The dish out, the shot is up and in by Walt Hansen. Hansen playing underneath one of the low spots on the zone. Shot is up and in by Mills, a three pointer. Wow. 21 to 19, Sheboygan on top. Oh, quick load and a shot by Van Domlin, and the Wolf can't recover from that. Both teams up and down the floor, that's for sure. Yeah, really. 30-second timeout by Sheboygan. Both teams red hot. They can't give anybody uh, a look. The ball's going up there and been going in. Unofficially, I got Sheboygan 10 for 12. High scores for Sheboygan, Luke Mills has seven, Admir Misovic has six. Nine for 15 for uh, Mike Aaron Polfus Ooh. leading uh, their scores with eight. I'm missing a three point basket for Marinette. I've got uh, Polfus with two and Van Domlin with one. Mills has it inside, he's double teamed. Van Domlin has two, Marty. Okay. Myers on a good reverse layup. Uh, defense is a little tighter now. Good inside pass, the shot is off, no good, and Mills with a strong rebound, but he's gonna get called for the walk. He's actually looked like he was losing it on the way down. Vandervelden had the uh, shot for Marinette that didn't go in. Polfus on a quick loading shot, and it's no good. Rebounded by Plokar. Sheboygan is up one, and they have the ball. Plokar fading on the shot, his shot is off, and uh, I believe it's Brandon Schmall will get called for the rebound foul. He will.
Mike Polfus, number 22. Here you see him wiping his uh, face off with his jersey. He's been red hot early on. We're at the 11.40 mark of the first half. Sheboygan on top, 23 to 22. Good help defense. Risner from way outside. His shot is off, no good. Isn't there a saying, you live by the three-point shot and you die by it? Well, they're really controlling him so far. Jeremy Sankbile, number 33, is in the game. Nice pass inside. Plokar's shot is off. Myers with pretty good defense, but couldn't stop Mike Polfus. He's got another three-pointer. Getting a little stutter step and uh, backed uh, Myers off just enough. I think tonight it's first team to 100. Was that Grinnell averaging like 130 a game? <laughs> Good feed to Mills. He was pushed on his way to the basket and then his shot is blocked out of bounds. You see Rick Schwarz underneath the basket. He's gonna take care of the uh, duties of handing the ball to be thrown in. Coming in for Sheboygan is uh, Carl Gruby. That's Carl with a K. Outside shot by Myers, no good. Ball is tipped away by Hansen, right into the hands of uh, Vandervelden. Oh, nice move inside by Van Domlin. He's got another basket. He has 10 on the night to lead all scores. You got that right, Marty. Oh, check that back. Pulfus has 11, but uh, all he did was just back him in and just one on one. This is a big game for Sheboygan. They're a 2 0 in conference. They need to keep winning. Schmall with a short jumper. Ball bouncing Marinette's way, and then a good pass inside, and then a shot is blocked by Sankbile, but I believe he's going to get called for the foul. Very clean game so far, Marty. Just it has been very few turnovers, too. Yep. Well, it makes a big difference when you have your uh, normal point, point guards. I know when we covered that, uh, the ladies out here, Penny Molesky is missing their point guard, and boy, that really uh, hurt them a lot. Stepping to the line is uh, Van Domlin. With that free throw, Marinette now leads at 28 to 25. Spoyan. They did have a four point lead. Spoygan's cooled off. They even uh, made a basket in about a minute. Well, the sad part about it is they've had some great looks. Schmall with another jumper from yeah. near the free throw line. Just jinxed him a little bit, helped him out. Van Domlin looking for the opening. He traveled on his way to the hoop, and a good call by uh, Rick Rodell. A second turnover for Marinette. Valley back in, number 24, and uh, stepping out is uh, Vandervelden. Only three fouls for Sheboygan and uh, only one for Marinette. Really trying to extend Sheboygan out. Marinette is with that zone. Deep shot is off, no good. Schmall goes over the shorter Hansen for the rebound. Luke Mills trying to force it inside and coming up with the tip away was Sankbile and he got the basket. And we're, Sheboygan's now up 29-28. Wolfus lost it on the way up, and Van Domlin shuffled the feet on his way to the basket. Brian Andrews giving you that. There is Brian. How's it going, Brian? He's the one in the blue, not the, uh, the <laughs> referee's jersey. By yeah, way. right. Andy McKillop giving you that shot, and uh, I believe it's Kerry Coatser in the truck. Mills hard to the basket. And he slapped on the, re on the rebound attempt. 
I thought that uh, Hanson uh, got a little bit underneath them, but no call. They let him play on, and then uh, Mills got the foul, and uh, he's going to be shooting two. Corwin has two fouls now, Coach. Mills at 90% for the season. Ooh, you almost jinxed him. <laughs> you said it just a little late, it rolled in. <laughs> you tried. Yep. Mills, an outstanding high school player at Oostburg. Playing for Coach Boonig at Oostburg, who again has a team in the preseason polls, ranked number two in Division Three, I believe it is. Scott Newar is the assistant coach for uh, Sheboygan. I had his son Kyle a few years ago over at Lincoln Erdman. He's in the stands watching the game. Rissner with a good skip pass. Shot is up and in. A three-point hoop for Corwin, his first three-pointer. And that ties up the score at 31. Well, he hesitated for a minute, but he should have shot that, as, and he did. Myers, what a good move. Ooh, <laughs> he got nailed in the lane after the whistle. Shuffled his feet before he got the ball down. Bobby Knight used to do this little drill he'd call don't walk. And you just, you and a partner, you just kind of go in a little circle one way or the other, and the idea was just do head and shoulder fakes and then put the ball on the floor, getting used to dribbling the ball before you, uh, you know, take off. Whistle blew and the foul is gonna be on Josh Myers as he cut in the lane to uh, break up the pass. He did that, but he uh, ran into a Marinette player along the way. Eight minutes remaining in the first half. Rissner's not taking a lot of shots, Chris. Don't leave him open. He's got a little sidewinder, Plokar, but he's got another three, his fourth of the half. And he's one that seems to shoot every time he gets the ball. I can relate to that. Eight attempts already. And five baskets. Yep. Working at the high post is Carl Gruby. Myers lost the dribble on the way in, but recovered and put the shot up and in. And the land of the Giants. Really, he's got seven points, and I've got him for three assists, Chris. Wilcar, oh. Meyer is going to get called for the foul, his second. There's Coach Seafelt, year number eight out here, I believe. Yep, his eighth season. He was coach of the year in the conference back in 2000. Also played for the Wombats back in his college days for two years, was an all-conference player. Oh, don't reach, don't reach, don't reach. Oh, good defense by Admir. He stepped in and uh, tied up Plokar and Sheboygan will get the ball. Uh, you can't like that if you're a coach Edgewald of uh, Marinette. A lot of dribbling with not a lot of action there. And yeah, Perry Hedgewall is the head coach and uh, Kenny Albert. That name sounds familiar. Isn't he an announcer? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's the brother of Al Albert, not. <laughs> <laughs> really? Not Al, uh, the announcer Albert. Uh, oh. <laughs> Marv Albert. Marv Albert. Al Albert's well, there's uh, Al former Albert. uh, yeah. A's player. Marv Albert's brother is Al Albert. Oh, nice pass inside to Schmall, but he didn't get squared up. Shot it a little quick, and it's off. Marinette has the ball in the lead, 34 to 33. Misovic on the defense. A good assist attempt by Riesner, but uh, ball is tipped out of bounds. Shot is up and in by Van Domelen, and uh, coaches love that when they call the play, the out of bounds play, and it works to perfection. <laughs> really, 
They faked it to one side. Van Domlin broke open on the other side and got the shot up and in. Marinette up 36-33. Well, the zones worked well. The first part of the, the game, Sheboygan had all the shots inside, but that's how you break it. Andy Wolf with his second three-point basket of the night. And that'll extend that zone, create some openings underneath. Rissner's shot is off no good, but I'll tell you, Marinette's going hard to the basket, Chris, and uh, that's been part of the story in the first half also. Uh, Greg Rissner is uh, 15 points a game a year ago, has been shut out so far. Sheboygan. Well, it looks like he's been looking to pass more than anything. Yep. Sheboygan even up with Marinette as well. Ooh, Admir almost didn't see that ball coming. Kick out to Mills. He goes hard in the lane. And then Rissner gets the loose ball and throws it off a of pull car, and the Marinette will have it. We're all tied up with 5 12 remaining at 36. How did a kid from Valders get way up there? <laughs> we have in Marinette. Of course, I suppose it's not that far. Well, it seems farther than it is. Whoa, man. Polkar couldn't wait to shoot that one. Finally, he misses one. Admir doing his best Kobe impersonation, except he gave it up. Yeah. I'd say Marinette's about two, two hours and 15 minutes, maybe. Admir at the high post. Travel, maybe? Yeah. He actually lost it, and it <laughs> acted as a pass right to Mills, who recovered it, and then his shot was no good, but he was fouled. Foul goes on Aaron Van Domlin. His first. Mills with 10 points, looking for number 11, and he's got it. Four for four from the line, Sheboygan up two, 38-36. Wolf on Plokar, it might not be tight enough. <laughs> he's way out on the court. Well, Mills has got a quite 11, that's for sure. Rissner has it on top, being guarded by Mills. Good oh, good there. move. And good hands by Plokar, but he wasn't able to come up with it. And Josh Myers cuts in front of the pass and intercepts. Mills going hard. Got it up and in. I'll tell you, I think he was looking to pass that ball, but when he didn't see his teammate cut to the basket, he shot it. Sheboygan up four, their largest lead of the game, 40 to 36. Inside hook shot is off, no good. Plokar with a strong rebound. Travis Plokar, number 21, uh, making his presence known. Good patience, Coach Seafell asked for. A very good decision, two up by four with the ball. Three minutes Wolf left. from outside the line, shot is off, no good. Rissner with the rebound. Well, it was a slap, but no call. Admir, I'll tell you, Chris, Van Domlin's jersey is out. Because <laughs> Admir pulled it out. <laughs> Follow goes on Mills. I think this is the first year out here, too, they've got uh, three officials. I know uh, over at well, I had a chance to talk to the guys uh, before the game, and uh, they s I asked him about the high school ranks, and he said, well, they've talked about it the last couple of years, but it's not going in effect this year. I think it's a money issue too, Marty. Yep, exactly. That's uh, one of the things they mentioned. It should really cost the school. So about a 55 to $60 or so, you know, for an official. So you're looking at a uh, considerable amount of money, another six to $700. Couple of free throws by Van Domlin makes it uh, 40 to 38, Sheboygan on top. 15 points by Van Domlin. 
Pass in the mills. Oh, skip pass. He was looking to pass to uh, Sankbile, who was out on top, and then uh, when he received it, when Mills received it, Sankbile made a move to the to the lane, and uh, just as Mills released, and that's why the ball sailed out of bounds the way it did. So a little miscommunication. Get a hand up on that guy. Good defense by Admir. Rissner fakes the shot, takes it to the hoop, and got it. His first basket of the night. Well, got the Wombats up on their feet and created a lane, and Reisner took advantage of that. Ball is tipped away by Vandervelden. You see Mills? <laughs> Look at his arm, it's all red. <laughs> <laughs> play on, gentlemen, play on. Again, Admir looking just in time. Wolf wanted it on the wing. He was, uh, looked like he was open. Admir traveled. Now there's a case he put it on the floor once too many times. Yeah, and he turned into the, into yeah. the zone presence there. Some of the Wambat, Wambat fan, faithful here, fans. Hoping the game's over. They're not over the Wambats by. tonight. <laughs> no. Pretty quiet up there. Yeah. They, oh, nice pass by Plokar. Their most important concern is the game's There's over a walk by 10 to 8 called. to get home for the Admir game. Admir got a good whack on Valley, and he's going to get called for the fall. Isn't there something about not following a jump shooter? I'm going to send our condolences out to Fritz Zank, whose wife died recently. Fritz uh, working for TV8 on and off for the last uh, 20 years, and uh, it's a big loss for Fritz. His wife uh, was sick for quite a while. Fritz not feeling the best either, and uh, whenever he's able to make it over to TV8, it's uh, really a pleasure. He's a great guy, and uh, our sympathies go out to him on his loss. Valley, after making two free throws earlier in half, missed two. S score remains tied at 40. We're at uh, 149 remaining in the half. Marinette continues to play the zone. Good ball fake there by Mills. Even better de defense by Vandervelden. Oh, shot is in and out. Mills with a strong rebound, puts it up and in. Sankpile had an open look and it went in and then it rolled back out, but Mills was Johnny on the spot. Ball is tipped away from Hansen by uh, Sankpile. Jeremy showing the good hands. Jeremy's out of Sheboygan North. There you see Brian Andrews, that floor camera. Get out on him. Oh, he was wide open and had a great look, but uh, Plokar couldn't get it to go down. Sheboygan remains on top. We're at one minute left. Bounce pass inside to Sank Biles a little bit late and he wasn't able to handle it. I'll tell you, Mike Polfus here has tempted all threes except one. Halftime, you gotta go out there and just say, we're guarding him out there and let him do anything else inside. Driving to the basket, because all he does is shoot threes. Good help defense by Admir. There's a walk. Sixth turnover of the half for Marinette. That's a pretty good number, actually, Chris, I think. Eight for Sheboygan. And they'll get the last crack at the at the end of the half here, Marty. Yep. Oh. Maybe not. Shot it, or his pass is stolen by uh, Hanson. His layup is in, and he's fouled. 
Not a good end of the half for Sheboygan. It's one of those deals where you wolf with the turnover, let him in for the layup, and then he committed the foul besides. Not a good decision. Yep, 19.9 seconds remaining. It's all tied up at 42. Hansen with a free throw that's no good. And then Marinette gets a rebound, a miss, and a rebound, and a putback, and another foul by Sheboygan. Vandervelden with an offensive rebound and a putback. Well, they just scored four points. Well, Nation even had a shot attempt. Edmure. Chance to make it five. Admir Ibmisovic gets called for his second personal foul, and uh, wow. Oh Another boy. rebound, and Marinette with it again. And a foul by Admir. It's going to be his third. Well, we've seen this throughout the half, Chris. So Marinette going very hard to the basket and getting a lot of offensive rebounds. And it's showing up big on these missed free throws. And now Admir had to pick up two fouls here when there should have been no rebounds there. Gives him three now for the half. Fortunately for Sheboygan, Marinette can't convert on any of these free throws. Now they're up two. It's 44 to 42 with 14.4 seconds remaining. And what looked like Sheboygan's last possession with the 25 seconds remaining. And a two-point lead. Yeah, and a two-point lead is all of a sudden turned into a three-point deficit. It's not a bad foul there, but when you only have seven guys, that's yeah. not a really well, good. Well, it's Polfus's first. Yeah. So you're right, it's not too bad. Just want to force Sheboygan to go backwards here. Now I got a trap. And another interception. And... 0.4 seconds remaining and total meltdown by Sheboygan these last 25 seconds of the half. That's not going to count. And we're at halftime with Marinette holding the advantage 45 to 42. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. Americans are rolling up their sleeves to help each other. Showing true strength of character and kindness and compassion. Spirit and enthusiasm. Together, we make America strong. Find out how you can serve, no matter where you are in life, at nationalservice.org. It's your world. It's your chance to make it better. Apply online at nationalservice.org and answer the president's call to service. Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? Believe. We're back at uh, UW Sheboygan where the Marinette Buccaneers lead the Wombats 45 to 42. Let's go through some of the first half scoring. 
Sheboygan was led by Luke Mills. He had 15 points. Following him was Josh Myers with seven. Chipping in with six was Andy Wolf and Admir Misovic. And then Brandon Schmall had four and Travis Polkar two along with Jeremy Schmalls two and that uh, counts for the 42 for Sheboygan. Marinette had two big time scorers, Chris. Uh, Aaron Van Domlin was pretty steady throughout the half. He ended with 15 points. The guy that really caught her eye early was Mike Polfus as he nailed a couple of three pointers early on and uh, continued his uh, hot shooting. Finished with uh, 14 points. He had four three pointers. Uh, Walt Hansen coming in late in the half, chipped in with five along with Mike Corwin's five and then uh, Chipping in with two each was Dustin Valley, Blaine Vandenvelden, and Gary Reisner. And uh, Reisner is a guy that we thought would be scoring a lot more points. Steal attempt by Wolf is no good. Uh, they're getting up on uh, Plokar a little bit more. Reisner's three pointer is up and in, and uh, Marinette's right back at it. With well, the three point basket. They had seven in the first half. Well, they had uh, 31 shot attempts in the first half. 13 of them are three, so you got to defend a three-point uh, shot if you are Sheboygan. Nice pass by Mills, and Edmisovic uh, puts it up and in. Almost a blueprint of the start of the game. Rissner uh, went down hard, but uh, he bounces up. Gingerly, I might add. Interested to see how close he gets to that 15, 16 point average since he started off so slow, looking to pass more often than shoot. Wilcar with a runner, his shot is no good, but Marinette gets the board. Inside pass, shot is blocked by Wolf. Valley got it underneath, but uh, had his shot blocked. Plofus, second two point attempt there. He took. Uh, Nine attempts from three, nailing four of them, so not really his bread and butter taking it in the paint like that. Wolf uh, kicked the ball to reset the shot clock. Wolfus was the guy that uh, also had one attempt where he uh, took it to the hoop and scored. Pass inside and back out. Good defense by Sheboygan. And Rissner is open from three-point land and cans another one. Good defensive effort like you called, Chris, but <laughs> what does it result in a three-point basket? For Marinette, and they have their largest lead of the game. It's 51-44, uh, to seven-point advantage. Awkward. Myers kisses one off the glass for two. Stop the bleeding a little bit. He's four for five tonight. Admir with good defense. Mills with the tip away, but uh, and Sheboygan does get it. Myers going hard to the basket. Polfus with the block. Myers down, slow getting up. Marinettes, Van Domlin, his shot is off, no good. And Admir threw it, Plokar wasn't looking. And missing the easy layup for Marinette was Valley. Up and down we go. Myers to Plokar and he gets it up and in. Another assist by Josh Myers. Sheboygan caught a bit of a break. And so Marinette had a real easy sh shot attempt and uh, Al Domlin missed the layup. Cut that lead to three too. Rissner's, I think his toe is on the line. It doesn't matter, shot's off, and Myers with the rebound. Myers with a quick pass inside to Admir Misovic, who puts it up and in. Another assist for Myers. Five for seven from the floor for Admir. He likes TV8. He's a TV8 player. <laughs> yeah, he had a good game at South that one night we were there. Yeah. Coach Koopman had him interviewed. Oh, they missed oh, the backdoor yep. cut. And uh, getting the hands up was Sheboygan, tipping it out of bounds. Wide open was Corwin. 
I'll tell you, for a one and four basketball team, Marinette looks awfully good tonight. Yes, they do. Rissner's shot from outside the line is good again. Wow. Uh, we were commenting, he didn't have a basket almost the entire first half. He scored very late in the half, had only two points. All of a sudden, he's got three three-pointers here and has 11. Oh, picking up the fall was Mike Pulfus. That's his second. Sixteen three-point attempts already for Marinette. Banging home ten of them. Almost uh, stolen away and then Admir Misovic uh, does the double dribble so the defense by Corwin does pay off. Little defensive switch, uh, Mills is now taking Rissner. Good idea. And uh, Pulthus uh, trying to do a little too much that time, Chris, uh, threw the ball out of bounds. Well, he made the mistake of leaving his feet uh, 21 feet from the basket. Nowhere to throw it. And his back was to the basket, so it was hard to throw it up there. Wolf from outside the line, he cans it. And Sheboygan back to within one. It's 54 to 53. 1605 remaining in the second half. Wolf five uh, attempts, three threes, all three point attempts as well. Haven't heard his name for a while. Oh, good defense by Myers, tipping it back in. Polkar got it. Wolf's pass attempt is intercepted by Polkar. Pulfus, pardon me, and he uh, calls a timeout. I was just saying Marinette needs a timeout. What a good break for them coming out of bounds. Yeah, full timeout by Marinette, so we'll take a short break and be right back with the score. 54 to 53, Marinette on top. Properly inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas. Yeah, I'm saving Mother Nature from pollution, but more importantly, she saved me 11 bucks. Environmental events, get green. By keeping my car regularly tuned, I save money on gas and repairs. That also means cleaner air. You know, feels good to help save the cash planet. Environmental events, get green. For more tips, go to getgreen.com. There's coach uh, Jack Schneider, 24 years out here. Outstanding basketball coach as well, Marty. He knows his golf. Yeah. Uh, Wisconsin Basketball Hall of Fame. He's an icon. Yes, and a very nice gentleman. I was just going to say the same thing. What a great guy. I think he coached uh, cross country and tennis yep. as well. I believe you're right. And he always, every year he does that uh, golf uh, classes, you know, for uh, whoever wants to sign up. It's not a college class, you know, it's just something that he does. Athletic director out here for a very, very long time. and. Yeah, Everyone over 20 wants to, years. Yeah, and you'll see him come out to the Sheboygan South games and Sheboygan North games. And He's a basketball fan. Yep. Corwin is uh, going to toss it in, and Sheboygan, looks like they might be applying a little full-court pressure. Now they drop back. Rissner. Rissner is uh, listed at 6'3". Uh, one of the taller guys on Marinette's team, but he likes to uh, go outside. There, Sheboygan's down on the floor to get it. He didn't see a lot of that in the first half, Chris, and the Marinette seemed to come up with uh, most of the loose balls. It's uh, good to see Sheboygan get down for that ball. Four turnovers already for Marinette in the second half. They're just not off to a good crisp start. Except for Rissner, they've uh, nobody else has uh, had much of a look at the basket. Well, hopefully the uh, defensive switch putting uh, Mills on him will help. Marinette continues to play his own defense. Sheboygan had some success with the Wolf on the wing. Myers, good dish off and a foul. 
on Plokar. Foul goes on Van Domlin. That's his second. Actually, they got him down for his third. Plokar coming in 60% from the free throw line this season. Looking to add to that. Oh, I don't know if I should say this or not. I will. We're reporting the game. Sheboygan was five for five in the first half, and uh, with that free throw, they are now six for six for the game. Uh, one of the things that kept it as close as it was in the first half was Marinette not able to uh, hit their free throws very well. They were only six of 12. Rissner, oh, well, Rissner created a little opening for himself, and the uh, Mills backed off, and uh, Jump shot was up and in. Fortunately, well, it was only a two-pointer. Right, he had to respect his uh, driving ability there. And drivability. Yeah, Luke Mills is a good oh, a, a nice pass inside by Myers. I'll tell you, that guy uh, really surveyed the floor and get the ball to teammates. I was going to say, uh, Mills is a good defensive person, too. He's got that good vertical, big, long arms, a little taller player. Walt Hansen committed the foul. That's the uh, third team foul on uh, Marinette. Sheboygan has none. Jump shot is up and good by Schmall. That's his third basket, and uh, he's deadly from 13 to 15 feet out. Three for four on the night. Holfus had it. Rissner being guarded by Mills. Looking to get it inside. Wolfus, a little extra step in there again. Now, I thought he did that move once in the uh, first half and they didn't call the travel. But uh, you see Coach Hedgewald. 56 all. We're at 13.50 uh, remaining in the first half. 13.51. Andy Wolf is going to toss it in. Wolf has nine points on the night. Right back. Fired in there. That's the reason I said it. Marinette not ready for that. Uh, not very good defense by Marinette. But uh, Wolf still made the basket. And Domlin doing a lot of moving inside. Well, one thing, Mary. Rissner, no good. Strong rebound by Schmall. Sheboygan has it with a three point lead. One thing that Marinette just doesn't have is that big, big man presence. And Schmall got the rebound but couldn't put it up and in. Myers on the miss. Shot is off, no good. Van Domlin. And uh, Marinette not shooting quite as well so far here in the second half. Outside the line, Mills, no good. And Marinette lost it out of bounds. Valley not able to gather it in. Well, sometimes, you know, when you're not playing with many guys, you get a little fatigued, you know, that shooting percentage uh, does go down. Yep, and Domlin kind of hobbling on his ankle a little bit, maybe would have gotten that rebound. And he's uh, gonna step off for a minute. Vandervelden comes in for him. Deep to Mills. One dribble and a shot, no good. Plokar with the rebound, put back, his shot is blocked. Rissner taking it hard and getting the basket was Vandervelden. His second basket of the night, he has four in the game. And Cheboygan is up one. Well, Hansen is, uh, I wonder if it's a box in one, Chris. Hansen steps out on uh, Wolf, very tight. Wolfus, Rissner, pump fake, pump fake, Mills stays down. Good defense. He gets a shot he wants, but can't get it in. And putting it up and in is Vandervelden, and uh, 
Coming off the bench, he's uh, made his presence known. He's got six in the night on the night, and it's 60 to 59. Myers got it. Three pointer. Timeout, Sheboygan. 30 second timeout. Well, Chris, you seen anything though? Not a lot of defense. <laughs> Not a lot of defense. I'll tell you what, Sheboygan is playing really good interior defense, but they just seem to, when uh, Marinette seems to kick the ball out to those open three point shooters, they just can't get out there fast enough, and it's almost the you know, a tough thing to say, oh, you want to play good inside defense and you'd rather have them shoot a 21, 22 footer, but they're banging them down tonight. And uh, Marinette, I just think, struggles with the numbers they have to uh, keep up with the athletic uh, Sheboygan team. Well, one thing Sheboygan hasn't been able to do a great deal is uh, run the court. And uh, I would think that would help them, at least it helped wear down Marinette. Yeah. I think Marinette's starting to wear a little bit, you know. Just seven guys has got to be awful tough, and I think that's why their record is what it is. They have some good ball players, just not enough of them, and not really a lot of size either. Corwin has it. Nice pass. Polfus dishes it out to Corwin. Over to Hanson. His short jump shot is no good, but Vandervelden had to rebound but couldn't put it in. Boygan has a good cut through by Schmall and he kisses it off the glass for two. Well, he has eight tonight. Brandon's really improved from a year ago. It looks stronger, more confident this year than when we saw him a year ago. I don't know about his shoes though. <laughs> yeah. Schmall, Elkhart, those aren't even Elkhart Lake shoes. Whoa, Polfus, way out there. Well, His first basket of the second half. Well, wouldn't you know it, it's a three-pointer. Yeah, and it's a three-point attempt, first three-point attempt. So it took nine and a half minutes for him to get one off. So Sheboygan's done a much better job on him. Wolf likes that. And he's got it. Risner was on him, but uh, Wolf nailed it. His third three of the uh, second half to go along with two in the first half gives him 15 points on five three-pointers. Rissner with a 17-footer, rims off. Polkar with the rebound. Sheboygan with a semi-break. Mills has it tipped away and a charge. Good play by Josh Myers to stand in there and take the hit by Vandervelden. Uh, getting back on the other end when Rissner shot that, uh, Mills has got to get a hand up. He just stood there flat-footed and Rissner got a good look. Sheboygan caught a break on that end. I don't think he's gonna miss a lot of them. Oh, Vandervelden with the long arm stole it away. Another turnover by Sheboygan. 13 in the game, Marty, for Sheboygan. That's a little bit high. They're averaging uh, 16 turnovers a game. Polfus on a drive, couldn't get it to go. Sheboygan comes away with it. Good scrapping ability that time by Polkar. Marinette in a man-to-man -man defense. Sheboygan setting up the offense. Shot clock under 10. Myers going hard and the ball is kicked. That'll reset the shot clock for Sheboygan and they'll get it out of bounds with 9.01 remaining in the ball game. Sheboygan up 67 to 63. Polkar tried to kiss it off the glass and uh, Corwin wasn't able to come down with it for Marinette, Sheboygan has it. Third attempt here. Let's see if they can get something to go here. There it is. Oh, nice back cut by Wolf. His reverse layup is no good, he missed it. Missed the pass initially, gathered it in for the reverse layup and couldn't get it to go. Too close for him. <laughs> We've all had that problem. <laughs> and a kick. And uh, 
Fortunate kick that time by Schmall, otherwise Marinette gets an easy two-point attempt. Timeout by Marinette, a full timeout with the score 67-63 Sheboygan and 8.30 remaining in the ballgame. We'll take a short break. There's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Wisconsin like you've never seen before. Somebody's got the gigglies tonight. Well, Sheboygan has uh, stemmed the, the tide here a little bit, Chris. Uh, I was just marking down on my sheet uh, the lousy end of the first half. They had a 42-40 lead and the ball with about 25.6 seconds remaining and uh, wound up throwing the ball away twice and uh, ended the half being down 45-42. to 42, But uh, And they've been able to stem the quick three-pointers by uh, Rissner, three of them, to uh, grab a four-point lead with a chance to uh, uh, build on that. Yeah, I think they're hey starting, guys. <laughs> I think they're starting to wear down uh, Marinette quite a bit here, and that's where the numbers problem really hurts. You know, later in the ball game, especially if when well in the case right now, Marinette's down. You know, they got to play a little harder to get back up on top. Yeah, they Sheboygan still has to defend that three-point shot. Actually, Marinette has the ball. Pulfus uh, traveled and a good call. That's uh, at least his third travel call. They're quick steps, they're little ones, but it's still traveling. Well, if he catches it in the air and he goes right, left, that's one thing, but he's... Andy Wolf, no, take that back. Sankpile's shot is off, no good. Saved by Hanson right into Schmall's hands, and Sheboygan has it back. I was gonna say, it's one thing to uh, square yourself, but when you're ready to square and taking those steps, that's too many steps. Mills' foot is on the line, shot attempt is no good. Rissner with the board. Under eight minutes. Six to rebound for Rissner. Good double team defense. Shot is blocked out of bounds. Polkar and Mills, I believe it was, doubled up on Rissner. Rissner only had four shot attempts in the first half. He's got nine already here in the second half, so definitely uh, saving himself for the second half, and it's done quite well. And he's made four of those nine. Back cut by Pulfus. Knocked down and lost the ball to Sankbile. His fourth turnover of the half. Mills in the lane, can't get it in. And Marinette with another rebound. And Sheboygan just can't build on that four point lead. They've had two chances, actually three. Rissner shot no good. Hansen gets the rebound. Uh, Luke Mills is 0 for 4 here. We got to get him going. Wolfus from way outside the line. They gave him a bit of an opening, and that's all it took. His second three pointer of the night. He has 20 in the ballgame. Talked about defending the three. And Sheboygan's four point lead is down to one. Schmall's shot is no good. Rissner's got it. They have a numbers on the break. But Rissner pulls it back out. Polfus foot on the line. Too close. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Well, Myers made eye contact with Mills, but Rissner was back, so they couldn't throw the long pass. 18-footer by Schmall is no good. Mills tapped it off of Rissner's head. Good play by Luke, and Sheboygan's going to keep possession. Well, Brandon Schmall's disappointed, but he's got to shoot those. Those are, as you said earlier, pretty deadly for him. So uh, two, two rare misses for Brandon Schmall at the uh, Schmall tee. averaging seven points a game. He's right up there in terms of team scoring. Mills working hard in the lane. He got fouled, but no call. And a two-on-one break for Marinette. And a travel call. Oh, no, they're going to call a foul on Sheboygan. 
Jerry Halverson making the call. Maybe that's why he traveled. But I yeah. but I agree with you. I thought he skipped his feet too. Ball goes on Brandon Schmall, his second. Only the first team foul on Sheboygan. I guess we can't complain about that one foul, but we will anyway. Corwin on the pass in. Shot by Van Domlin is no good. Van Domlin, no points. He led the team in scoring in the first half. Andy Wolf back in. Two-man game. Schmalz turnarounder is off. No good. Plokar tips it out of bounds. That's, that's just a case of not getting the ball in the hoop now. I mean, they're getting good shots. They're running the offense. That's true. Holfus has it. A little shake and bake. Rissner forcing the action, and uh, they're going to call a foul on Mills, and he doesn't like it. Rissner will go to the line, his first trip there. Chance to give his team the lead. Admir Misovic checking in. He still wears those red and black shoes from yeah, his red wing days. Mater. Yeah. See South on Friday night. Rissner's second free throw ties up the ball game at 67 with 5.45 remaining. South coming in at one and one. Mills going hard to the hoop. Oh, shot is no good. His rebound shot is no good. And Corwin with the rebound. Tough break for Sheboygan. Luke Mills just can't buy a basket here. He's going to have to score it in the last five minutes here. Rissner, no good. Mills hustling over, got the board. Tenth rebound for Mills. Andy Wolf from outside the line. Shot is off. And, uh, Sheboygan really hitting a cold streak for the last three or four minutes. And a 30 second timeout by Marinette. Well, there's not too much you can do about the cold shooting, Chris, because they are getting some real nice shots. They're not all outside jumpers that they're missing. Yep, and Luke Mills, too, with a vengeance going to the basket, just couldn't get it to fall. And He's 0 for 7 here in the half after going 5 for 7 in the first half, which is very unlike him. You'll have to get a couple down the stretch here. Well, it's kind of like with uh, football when you get into these uh, close kind of games. It's usually the defense that can win it for you. Well, you know who to focus in if you're uh, Sheboygan on Marinette. Polfis. Reisner, for sure. I think those uh, two young ladies are drawing up strategy for Sheboygan to win. <laughs> Not. Polfus being guarded by Myers. Ooh, he wanted to take that shot, and that was within range, too. And Misovic coming over for the help, and uh, I believe he's going to get called on the foul. That's fourth, Marty. You are correct, sir. Admir with his fourth foul. Aaron Van Domlin is the only uh, Marinette player in uh, foul trouble. He has three. Rissner's free throw is good. That gives Marinette the lead. Make it a two point lead. It's 69 uh, 67. Back to, uh, no, they're staying in that zone. That's money. Oh! And he's done. 
Well, yeah. wow, I'm almost speechless. The ball was halfway down and it popped back out. Misovic falls out. He uh, finishes with 10 points. Admir leads to a good round of applause. Both teams are sitting with four team fouls, Chris, with uh, four ten and counting remaining in the ball game. Polfus, so with the offhand, gives a little shove to Myers. Rissner, you don't mind them shooting. That's okay. Well, Got to watch that Van Domlin guy. He had 15 in the first half. He's scoreless here in the second. Polfus with a little stutter step, lost the ball, got the shot off, it's no good. Corwin had it, lost it, Van Domlin got it back, and kicks it back out. 3.30 and counting, 69-67, Marinette. Corwin, rare outside shot is no good. Put back is no good. Van Domlin over the black, it's called for the foul. His fourth. Well, a lot of offensive rebounds tonight, Marty, for Marinette. Yeah, it was uh, it was key for him right at the end of the half, too, on those missed free throws. Schmall's been deadly on that shot, but Sheboygan hasn't been able to buy a basket over the last five minutes of the half. Rissner loads and pops from three-point land. Myers with a long lead feed to Mills. He can't get the layup to go. But he used the backboard on those. Well, he took off too far from the basket, too, not knowing where he was on the floor. Good inside feed to Valley. He puts it up and in. And now Marinette has a four-point lead, 71 to 67. We're at 220 and counting. It's cold, cold shooting. You're going to need Wolf, Wolf here or Mills. Oh, finally breaks the ice. Broke the seal on that basket. Hopefully that'll uh, propel Sheboygan into a little better shooting the rest of the game. Timeout, Marinette. It's a full timeout with 2:02 remaining. Marinette on top, 71 to 69. I build schools. I battle injustice. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. Don't put it in. There you see the scoreboard with uh, all the pertinent numbers. 202 remaining, 71, 69. Marinette on top. They have five team fouls to Sheboygan's four. Of course, uh, one of their key players, Aaron Van Domlin, is sitting there with four team fouls. And there you get a good shot of the uh, Sheboygan huddle. They just can't buy a basket here in the second half. Our next game will be tomorrow night. TV8 will be out at Lakeland College to cover the uh, Lady Muskies. And then on Friday of this week, we'll be at Sheboygan South as they open Fox River Valley Conference play against uh, Green Bay West. I have all about 10 for 30. 11 for 30 for... Uh, Marinette's got 10 baskets on this yeah, side. Yeah, Sheboygan's got 11, 11 for 30. That's just... Rissner stumbled as he uh, tried to make the move. Mills gets on top of him and they tie him up. But Marinette will keep it. Again, uh, Sheboygan 
a little more intensity this half than he had in the second, and uh, Rissner uh, hobbling a bit. He turned his ankle just slightly as he uh, tried to make that one-on-one -on -one move. Jerry Halverson handing the ball to a Mike Corwin. Get on Pulfus. Shot is good, a three-pointer. That one hurt. Yeah, he just came off the screen and left a defender there. Myers blocked in that screen and he got just the opportunity he could. Shot is up and good by Travis Pulkar. Makes it 74-71, Marinette up. We're at 120 remaining in the ball game. Marinette trying to run clock. Mills with the tip away. Goes around Pulfus, but he's fouled. That's just an outstanding foul there. You got five fouls. Doesn't hurt you there instead of giving up the layup. Just a casual little bump there. And it's only foul number six. Yep. So Sheboygan will not be shooting. That's a very intelligent play there. Well, they don't necessarily need a three-pointer to tie it up. No. But you don't want to run too much clock either. I mean, it's a lot of time. Drive by Schmall is no good. Ball is tipped away. Andy Wolf has it. Kiss off the glass is no good. Corwin with the rebound. And good play by Mike Corwin to keep possession. Rissner has it. 50 seconds in counting. Trouble is, Sheboygan only has four team falls. Inside pass to Corwin, his shot is no good. And then we get a foul. I believe that's gonna be on Corwin and Sheboygan will be shooting a bonus. Well, we gotta have two free throws here, Chris. And it's the old fashioned one and one. He's got to make this one to get the second. And uh, actually, I think a bit of a problem is only having four fouls. I was just going to say that, Marty. You got a foul immediately uh, following the uh, two main free throws here by Sheboygan. Pressure pack free throw by uh, Travis Pulkar is up and in. Probably a timeout after the made basket here would be the smart thing by Coach Seafelt. Travis in his second year out of Howard's Grove. And he got a nice kiss off of that ball. Off the glass and got it in. Timeout, Sheboygan is a full timeout. With the score, 74-73. Marinette with 35.5 seconds left. We're gonna take a short break and be right back. Hi, I'm Bob McGrath. And I'm Big Bird. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? Uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. Find out how children learn and grow with music. Visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. The key number down there is in the bottom left-hand corner, the four. What do you do, Coach, if uh, you're talking to your team like uh, Mike Seafelt is? Right now, I'm fronting all my all the uh, wombat, or excuse me, uh, Buccaneers here, fronting them to make sure that you can possibly go for the steal. If you can't get the steal, you immediately foul. 35 seconds, still a long time, but it's the key is fouling quickly in less than two seconds or something. So basically, you can get three fouls in six to eight seconds, which still leaves you 20 seconds plus 25 seconds to uh, have a chance at a two or a three or even a one, whatever you need to uh, put yourself in a situation to win. But I would try to go for the steal first and then quick foul. Mike Corwin will be uh, throwing it in. He has the baseline to use. He can run it. See, I would not defend the, the inbounder here. I'd have a guy safety back and I'd front everything. Too much time, too much time, too much time. 
Foul by Mills, and that was about four dribbles down the floor too long. That foul should have occurred way back in the backcourt. Corwin commits his, uh, pardon me, Luke Mills commits his third foul. Once again, I would not defend uh, the inbounder here. I'd protect the basket fronting everybody else. 31.9 seconds remaining. I'm gonna try to keep it out of Rissner's hands if you so, can. Mills gets the steal! Layup is good! They're gonna call him for the walk. Oh my. I don't know about that, Marty. Uh, I wish we had to replay it, but I almost think it was a good call, Chris. There you see Mike. Mike Seafelt out of the box. Don't get a T, Mike. Don't get a T, Mike. There, oh, there you see it. Show that again, it doesn't look like a walk. <laughs> it didn't look like a walk on the replay. Let's see it again. Wow. Here you see it. Tip away. One, One two. two. Nope, no travel. Well, we get the benefit of replay. The officials don't, you know, and they're out there doing the best they can. But uh, unfortunate break for Sheboygan. Great defense by Sheboygan though. Give him a lot of credit. The one thing I see as a bit of a potential problem, Chris, uh, even though we're very late in the game, is uh, if Rissner gets the ball and uh, Mills has to commit his fourth foul. Yeah, so I would put somebody, I would bring anybody in off the bench right now for uh, Mills. What I would do is bring in just uh, somebody you have on the bench and as soon as they're at the line, then bring back Mills here. That's what I would probably do here, bring in Senkbile or someone who's played a little bit here to commit the foul and then uh, bring Mills back in. <laughs> Wolf Van, and Van Domlin are talking. Wolf is saying he didn't travel. Van Domlin said, yes, he did. <laughs> There's a good quick fall by uh, Josh Myers. That's only his third. That's just number six. So you have the same scenario here. Go for the steal first. Quick fall on Myers. That's okay though. For Josh, that's his fourth. Rissner is going to be going to the line now. Chris, he uh, missed his first free throw attempt and then he made the last three. Marinette, only nine out of 16 in a ball game. Well, the people that sent to the line, if you're Marinette, this is the guy. <laughs> Well, the key is, you know, Marinette has not been good on their free throws, but Sheboygan has been worse on getting the rebound after the missed free throw. So block out, boys. Rissner roll that one in. This game is far from over. Yeah, 28.7 seconds remaining. Sheboygan down two. It's no good. Good board by Schmall. Best available shot but shoot it early enough so you can get offensive rebound or foul. Don't wait for one because you're trailing. Myers going hard to the basket. No, sh shot was off, but he gets fouled. They're gonna call it before the shot. That's another bad call. He was leaning up when he got bumped. Well, that was a fourth foul on Corwin. Myers is gonna be shooting the one and one. Sheboygan is down two, he could tie the ball game up. There's 14.5 seconds remaining. Shot is off, no good, tipped out. Polkar, Wolf has it. Deep, got it! Josh Myers with a downtowner. Wow, just missed the bonus free throw, came back. Sheboygan got the rebound, they flipped it over to Myers and he nails a three. Well, what I liked there, Marty, was uh, the tip back. Somebody at least got their hand in there for Sheboygan and tipped it back. I don't know if it was uh, Plokar there or Mills, but that was the key to that. And a quick trigger over to uh, Mills. Where's the replay carry? Come on. It's, not, it's Scott. Scott. <laughs> Scott Miloff in the truck. Kerry Coutzer taking a break. 
Wow, Sheboygan on top, 76-75, 8.9 seconds remaining. What a turn of events, and this game is far from over <laughs> with, uh, with almost nine seconds remaining. Here we see it, miss free throw, tip back. Schmal to Plokar. He gathers it, and they flip it right around. Look at that, wow, he was way outside the line too. Yeah, nice tip there by Schmal, who tipped it back to Plokar, who went to Wolf, who passed it over to Myers, and Myers bangs it home. What you want to do here, if you're Sheboygan, is work the Buccaneers up the floor, taking as much time as possible so they don't have a clean look. So I now I've, I would reverse my situation here. I would guard the inbounder and play, play behind. 15 points for Josh Myers in the ball game. They are going to pressure. Wolfus looking for it, he's got it deep, that's good. Six, five, four, three, shot attempt, no good. Shot attempt, no good, and the Horn and Sheboygan wins it. 76 to 75 in a great ball game. Oh man. Well, I don't think that's the way they wanted it. I think they wanted Reesner to get a shot attempt and uh, Colfus to draw the uh, coverage, but uh, good thing Reesner never got a chance at it. <laughs> really, let's take a short break, Scott, and when we come back, we'll uh, wrap up the ball game. It doesn't matter who you are, or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. Get a job. Look, it's a giraffe. I don't see it. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org. Take a deep breath. It's all going to be fine. that's gotten the truck. We're back at Sheboygan where the Wombats have defeated Marinette 76 to 75 in a very entertaining ball game. Yes, it was a lot of scoring and shooting. Thought they'd get to 100, they only got to about 76, but uh, very entertaining is right. A lot of three point shots and went right down to the wire. And uh, I thought Sheboygan at the end did the right thing, committing fouls when they had to, giving themselves a, an opportunity. And of course, uh, Josh Myers hit that big three. If balance means anything, Sheboygan had it tonight. They had five different players in double figures. Uh, Josh Myers, Andy Wolf, and Luke Mills each had 15 points. And then chipping in with 10 each were Admir Misovic and uh, Brandon Schmall. And then uh, chipping in with nine was Travis Plokar. And rounding out the scoring was Jeremy Sankbile with two. Uh, I think the key point in the ball game, though, was that you know, with that 25 seconds or 14.5 or seconds actually when uh, Sheboygan was able to crawl back in because uh, they had gotten down by quite a few points and yet the fouling really did pay off at the end. Yeah, they got they got lucky and they used it well and uh, like I said, the fouling is correct. Greg Rissner too, missing seven straight sh shots at the end of the game too for Marinette, didn't help their situation. And I thought Sheboygan did a much better job and Mike Polfus too, defending the three. He did get that one with about a minute left, but other than that, I thought in the second half, 
the uh, Wombats did a much better job closing out on him. Speaking of Mike Polfus, he led all scorers with 23 points, had the last uh, shot at the end to try and win it for Marinette, but couldn't come up with it. Uh, it was a really a great ball game. Uh, like we've been mentioning throughout the broadcast tonight, we have a busy week this week. Tomorrow night we'll be out at, uh, at, L at Lakeland covering the uh, Lakeland women's team. And then on Friday, Fox River Valley Conference action opens up and we'll be covering South when they play uh, Green Bay West. I want to thank the crew, Brian Andrews behind that camera, Andy McKillop up on the top camera, uh, Scott Miloff, not Gary Kautzer, Scott Miloff in the truck, my partner uh, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying so long everybody, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you down the road. get it 58 44 with 350 left in the ball game north on top tipped away <laughs> words has it tipped away from him it looked like it went off the cloister but they're going to give it to south Sorensen trying to get it up to Bariki, he does. Corey taking it hard to the basket, jump shot over Dodge is way off. Works on the perimeter looking for an open shooter. North very content to uh, run their offense. Dodge takes it in, flips it out to Worth. His jump shot is around and around and down. <laughs> Worth with his seventh point makes it 60 to 44. North on top by 16. Nice job there. Schultz with the basket. That was a good feed, Coach. Schultz has seven points tonight. North seems to have it in control now. Dodge with a layup attempt is no good. Bariki kicks it out on the break. Nice pass to Wilson. He lost it. He's fouled. They're going to call an intentional foul on Eric Worth. Well, I think what happened there, Marty, is he kind of tried to go for the ball, but he kind of undercut him, and that can be dangerous. And Jacob Wilson will get two free throw attempts. Everybody's cleared off the line. And then South will get possession. Actually, a couple of free throws here, Coach, and a three-pointer, and it's down to nine-point lead with 2.30 left. Right, and uh, as we said before, though, three-pointer's been very difficult for uh, South to even get an opportunity at a look because of the North defense tonight. And credit North defense and their plan because it's been very successful. The A team has not had a lot of looks at all. Couple of free throws by Jacob Wilson. Cuts the lead to 12 for North. They're up 60 to 48. Well, Coach Koopman brings Dinneman and Prislin back in the game to make their final run here. We're gonna need a big final push here in the last two minutes. Two and a half minutes, let's see if the South can do it. Wilson tries to get it in the Nineman, cutting down the lane, but it's tipped away. By the 6'8 Condor. Freaky going hard to the basket, rises above the crowd and gets it to go. Down to 10. Need another stop. Wilson working his tail off on Brad Wehner there. Defense, 
North's going to try to take some time off, it looks like, Marty. Two minutes left in the game. They're up by 10. North needs to get out, or Salt needs to get out and foul. Good job there by Luke Pittner. Normally you want him to shoot that, but in the situation with a 10-point lead, you want to hold it. Seconds are more important than shots. Well, Wilson got a couple of good shots on Wainer, and the official didn't want to call a foul, and there's another shot. They finally call a foul with 1.29 left in the ball game and that's, on Jacob Wilson. Yeah, and I believe